If you watched my last video about what actually happens whenever you have a thought, move a muscle, or perform an action, you probably recognize this neuron and the function of its parts. But we can learn even more if we zoom into the cell membrane. There are important ions inside and outside the cell membrane, like potassium, sodium, and chloride. Potassium and sodium are positively charged, and chloride is negatively charged. When a neuron is not sending a signal, it's at rest. A neuron at rest has more sodium ions outside the cell than inside the cell, and it's the opposite for potassium. At rest, there's more potassium inside the cell than outside the cell. This is because of a pump that uses energy to move three sodium out of the cell and two potassium in. This contributes to something called a chemical gradient, and when we consider the charges, there are more positive charges outside the cell than inside the cell. This is called an electrical gradient. Together, we call these the electrochemical gradient, and the difference in charge inside the cell and outside the cell is called the membrane potential, and this is the threshold that controls the action potential we learned about in the last video. The resting membrane potential is about negative 70 millivolts because the inside is 70 millivolts less positive than the outside. But charged ions can't just move willy-nilly across the cell membrane, so in the next video, I'll explain how these ions move around and change membrane potential and how that can lead to an action potential.